Butte County's jail is about to get about 35,000 square feet bigger with a new building for medical and mental health services. Chico contractor Slater and Son came in with the lowest bid at just under $33 million. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe is there live at the jail. So Margot, did county leaders approve the plan? Yes, Haley, but that wasn't the only plan the board approved on. It also approved funding to update the current facility. According to the staff report, these modifications will cost a little over $200,000. And Sheriff Corny, Corey Honey told me these modifications will help with the new jail being built. Uh, the, the funding that we received for the new construction, uh, we're not allowed to use any of that funding on an existing facility. And so this funding allows us to make some modifications so that the two facilities, when, they're, when, when the new one is finally constructed, can work compatibly together. Sheriff Honey explained that the money for modifications will go towards areas like expanding the kitchen since the new facility won't have a kitchen or laundry room built with it. Sheriff Honey told me the, the department hopes to do the groundbreaking for the new jail expansion next month. Live in Orville, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thanks, Margot. Sheriff Honey also said that with construction getting going in the next few months, you might have a harder time finding parking at the sheriff's office, but he says that construction will not delay response times when it comes to emergencies. We're learning more about the impact of the closure of three Cal Fire Butte County stations the pa this past winter. Today, the fire chief broke down how many calls were made in each city during that winter period, how many fires happened, how many medical emergencies happened, and he even went over the response times, which were a lot of people were specifically concerned about. The average response time for CONCAL from the Jarbo Gap station took 17 minutes. For help coming to Sterling City, it was about 20 minutes. And for firefighters to get to Berry Creek, it took about 26 minutes.